Hi folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. If you watched the last episode, you know I was getting very aggravated with this truck. And I finally got it out. It took me another hour to get this truck out of there. I went through... Oh, no you don't. You are coming with me. Okay, it took an hour of inching. Three, four inches at a time. To get this truck out of that swampy area. I went through two more tanks of gas in this vehicle and I'm down to 16 liters so almost three more tanks of gas just to get this truck out of there the most frustrating mission that I've ever done in this game and it's absolutely ridiculous it should not be that hard to pull this thing out of there as I said in the last episode, uh, I, this is my third playthrough, and the first playthrough, I pulled it out with no problem. I mean, it took it like 15 minutes, and I was able to pull it out. My last playthrough was almost two hours of playing this game to get one truck a hundred yards out of the mud and this one hour and a half so there's no reason it should be that hard to get this truck out of there and I've got to recover the garage because I'm out of gas So this mission is done because I can get it to the farm now and if I ever, ever have to start this game again from the beginning, I will not do that mission. That truck can sit there. I will buy a truck and give it to the farm before I pull this truck out of there again. Alright, but it is out. And I probably, I figure it's out of gas now. I put 70 liters of gas just in the truck and it has run through that 70 liters and I think it was uh, 50 other liters that I put into it and what gas it had in it in the beginning. So I'm going to refuel it. And then I'm going to recover my truck, leave the garage, and get this mission over with. 
The other missions in this game that I've played so far, they're actually fun. They're challenging. Uh, some of them take a little bit of skill. And they were my engine. But this one is utterly ridiculous. And hopefully, if there's anybody out there that is thinking about playing the game, you do not judge the game by this one mission. Because this is just way ridiculously too hard to do. What I would recommend is wait until you have the pig, uh, the P-16, or one of those other huge trucks, and then come out and do this mission. This thing still isn't pulling right. So I don't know if it's a glitch or what. But again, it should not be this hard. In the first playthrough I did, it wasn't hard. It was challenging, yeah. But it wasn't almost impossible to do. From my understanding, this is supposed to be the map where you learn how to do things. And everything is supposed to be doable. And it's not going to take you an hour and a half to do one thing. See, this daggone thing still won't pull right. It should be driving on its own power. I should just be guiding it. Thank God. That one is over. All right, so I'm gonna recover back to the garage. And then I'm going to go get the poor scout who is so mired up it can't go anywhere. Uh, it's just the winch won't even pull it out. So we're just going to go ahead and recover it. And we're going to move on to a much more fun task in this one. It has challenges. It is not easy, but it is doable without having to cuss 542 times. Okay, so since I'm still frustrated, shouldn't play mad, and I am mad. So I want to do something fun. I don't want to leave it at that. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this mission here. And what I'm actually going to do, you can go this way and you come up here and get it. But then when you do this, well, yeah, I can, I can still do that. Uh, I'll just do it a little bit different way. And I'll show you what I'm blabbering about here in a moment. Uh, that actually sits on a little area of the hill. And it's really hard to make a left and go in there because the vehicle wants to tip. But I believe I'll just go to the top of the hill. And from the top of the hill, man, the game's mad at me now. 
that should not have caused any damage and already I've taken a couple of points of damage on easy stuff but I almost reset that mission and just left that truck out there and just waited till I had a much bigger truck, much more powerful truck, and then come out there and just yank it out by its axles. But I don't like letting the game beat me. And like I said, hour and a half, like four tanks of gas, a lot of cursing, a lot of frustration, and I was able to get it. So we're moving on to this one. And let's go over here and get our crane out and drop our landing legs, our anchors. And this is the first one I'm going to get. Let me get the camera around here. It's kind of tricky to load it. Pick it up because of the angle that I'm at. doesn't want to come in anymore so we'll lower it down and attach it I'll raise my crate up a little more and attach and raise it up and now I can pull it backwards I want that one toward the front of the truck. What the heck is the thing doing? There we go. And Y to oh, X to lower the box down. Attach it. And I should be able to pack it. And it'll go to the front. And restore my crank. So you can see the angle that it was at. So it makes it really hard to load this. Go to low gear. Oh, close function. I've done that so many times. Forgot to close the function and the vehicle starts rolling away and I'm trying to hit the brakes. And you have no brakes when the function is open. So here's where I talk about, where I was talking about you've got to go up in there. And the truck gets kind of tippy. So I'm just going to come up here turn around and then pull down into it.
Alright, so now that we're up here, this should be fairly easy to load up. If I get it high enough. Come on, slide a little more. So let's unpack and then repack, restore the crane, and we should be good. So now I just have to back out of here. I think I need the diff lock on now. Watch out for that mysterious tree that appeared. Yeah, a little bulldozer for this game would be good. Have a mission where you come up to some of these roads and clear those rocks out. Because they are a pain in the butt. I understand going over, them, going over them one time, maybe two times. You gotta be careful, but then after that, you should be able to clear them out of the road. And I'm still a little frustrated, so I'm more critical than normal. It's still a great game. Don't get me wrong. I love the game. I won't stop playing it. But if I have missions like that again, I'm just going to leave them. I have not been down that road. Or have I? No, I think I was unlocked. Nope, I haven't. That was unlocked by the watchtower. So I have never actually been down this road.
not all the way. Uh, I have been. There is a mission where I have to come up this far from down in here. But I've never actually been around here, so I think when I complete that mission, I'm going to come on around here. Just see what that looks like down there. Alright, the first load is delivered. Oh, and wait till we have to get that bad boy right there. That's going to be fun. First time I did the game, I actually just wanted to I got to that mission as soon as I could, and boy was it not fun with this truck, but it is doable. Use this truck and the pickup, and you can accomplish it. Uh, I'll show you real quick. What I did was took it down the road, took it over here, and we went across this. And it took a little bit to get through here, but once I got through here, then went straight around here, and over to here, and then it was easy to cross here, and brought it over here. I've watched videos where people have taken it down through here. And I didn't go down that way because I didn't think it would fit through the bridge there. But they take it down this way. And come across. Uh, go down here to the lumber mill and come up that way. Or they attempt to bring it down through here and across this way so the truck we have in the game it will make it across here there's a lot of winching and you will need the help of the Chevy but it can be done and I believe that's the way I'm going to do it this time So we're on our way to pick up the other two crates, and they're just down from where I picked this one up. And I am good on fuel. Get back on the road here. But the uh, first two crates are the easy crates. The next two, not so easy. Oh, got behind in the steering there for a second. Let's get over here away from that edge. So right here is where I went up to get the first two crates. The next left over here is where you get the second two. And I think that there's another road over here somewhere that you can get down to them. But I don't go through that road. Whoa, easy now. I think it might be there. So it's like a little path that you can get down there. But to me, that seems like it's really hard, so I'm not going to do that.
this is the way I have went. Let's get it in low gear. Because we have to make a left. Stuck on a rock. So before I get down in there, I want to deploy my crane and then move it to the front of the truck. Because there are a lot of trees here. Oh. That was the horn. I was trying to drop my legs here and I hit the horn. Let's put it in park. Back into crane mode. Let's see if I can't pick this sucker up. And the controls are exact opposite now. So I'm get that up high. Yep, I'll move around this way. Let's try lowering it and then extending it. Okay, because I'm stuck on something. It would not rotate for me. Pack the cargo and restore the crane and we are off to the next one. And there is a tree here that makes this very tricky. Give it a little nudge so I can get the truck as level as I can. And then crane mode to my anchors. Yeah, that anchor, I don't like that. We'll give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen? So it's holding it. Some of the weight off that leg. Down a little bit. And I will 
pull it back so that the other box helps line it up. Close enough. So unpack and repack and restore my crane. And I'm not exactly sure where that other little trail is. I think it goes up through there. But I do not want to try that with a fully loaded truck. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this truck around. Or attempt to. There's a tree. It always gets in my way. Actually, I want to leave the diff lock on. Let's see if we can burst back up next to it. down in this little hole a little bit or attempt to pull out of it now I've got 74 liters in fuel so I know I can make it back on that much and if I didn't think I could, I can't really see it, but right through the trees there, uh, right through that little opening, that is the fuel trailer that I put down here. So if I needed fuel, I could always go there. And I am not going to try to turn to go up that hill. It's much safer to just come down here and turn around. Turn off the diff lock. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kind of took off on me there. I thought I was hitting the brakes and I was not. I was hitting the left bumper key. tend to do that every now and then and then I'll start panic pushing all of the buttons okay, I think we go to automatic now I think she'll pull up out of here So what I would recommend to anybody that's thinking about playing the game or has just started playing the game hasn't done this mission before, practice with the crane. Practice at the garage, loading and unloading cargo, and it will make it much easier. 
because the crane is not easy to operate. And I am not the best at it, but I do practice it. Tipping. Tear up the truck, Bob, and it's coming out of your paycheck. So if you haven't watched my first video, this is Bob. He is my driver. We call him Bob the Builder. Oh, really? The Snow Runner gearbox does a lot of good in this truck, makes it a lot more manageable. And we can't get that until we go over to Smithfield Dam. Down to 39 liters and I'm almost there. If I don't wreck it. Which the way I'm driving is a distinct possibility. Let's go here. Thirty-two hundred more dollars and two hundred and eighty stars. I'll accept that and recover you. So what do I have in the garage now? I have all of my vehicles except for one. And in the last episode. We had a problem with that one. He gave it a good try. He was able to accomplish one of the missions. And one mission he just did not have what it takes. He really needs that all-wheel drive. So let's go give him a hand. Maybe if I don't crash. And as I've said before, for me, it's just easier to control the vehicles in first person if I have any kind of speed. It may not look like it, but it is.
and this tree sometimes you can hit this tree and it will stop you dead uh, I have winched to that tree and I've winched it out of the way so I wouldn't have to fool with it and I went to another map and came back and the tree is right back so I winch it again out of the way and then when I log out of the game and come back the next time the tree is right back there it is a stubborn tree Okay, so I can go right to go to the lumber yard. But I'm going to take this longer route. Because I want to go ahead and fill up with fuel. If you roll through a gas station once you hit the X, you have no control over steering or brakes or anything until you finish fueling up and back out of that menu. Uh, actually, we can go down this way. No, we can't. I thought that was the road. Must have already passed it. Yeah, it's back here. But we'll go ahead and go this way since we're heading in that direction. Welcome. Oh, almost hit the fire hydrant. You cannot knock down fire hydrants. They will hurt you if you hit them. You also can't pull those trailers away. I tried hooking up to one. You can't do it. Thought it might be fun to come over here and move people's trailers around. just read on Facebook somebody in my area had a nice size travel trailer had it in their front yard they went out to the store or something and when they came back their travel trailer was missing somebody must have been watching them because they weren't gone very long, I don't believe. Alright, there's my little buddy. Uh, so he gave it a valiant effort. But without all-wheel drive, I can't get it up here. So we're going to give him a hand. Help him make his delivery. Yep, start your engine, buddy. This might 
be more difficult than I thought it would be. There we go, we're inching up. That's Bob Jr. in the other truck. Is he even helping? Yep. Yeah, let's come up here and get a different bite. Matter of fact, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to turn around. That's basically what I had to do with that stuck truck. Uh, I had to back up pretty much the entire way of to uh, get it out because it, this truck would not pull it in forward gears. I don't know why. Oops, still not enough. Come on, get over there. And I'm able to pull him in reverse. I guess the truck has more pulling power in reverse than it does in four gears. Might be because the front wheels, I keep turning them. And it gives it just enough to pull something out. Nice to know. Get out of his way. See if he can finish making his delivery. And hopefully he didn't have the emergency brake on the whole way. As I said in the last episode, this is the only vehicle that I have that can really pull a trailer. Uh, the rest of them, the frames are too long. And it just doesn't work when you go over little hills. Because you end up jacking the front tires off the ground. And then you can't steer. But other than that little hill there... This thing's done pretty good. I'm quite impressed with it. And I've been promoted and I can get some mud tires now for the big trucks so this will go over here and this will give me another way to get from this area over into this area and vice versa instead of having to go all the way down and go past the garage and I am not taking this truck that way it did well and that would just be a bad attempt besides I want to go back this way because I want to pick up a couple of steel and bring those back to my garage I'm going to make it yep bring them back to my garage because there are a couple of other missions I need steel for and I can just leave them on this truck so I believe at level 6 I can get some 
off-road tires for this one. Not off-road, but uh, take it easy. Put some uh, all-terrain uh, tires for it, and that might help it out a little bit. See, I would not be able to do this with the other trucks because the frames are too long and if I did that the whole front end of the truck would be off the ground right now. So this is basically the only one we have right now that can haul a flatbed. And I like the flatbeds because they can hold five cargo spots. So if it's single cargo, I can haul five things. If it's a double, then slide on out. I am going to go this way because I need to hit the fuel station. Uh, but if it's a, uh, there are. There are some things that I will be hauling that require this blue trailer because they need five cargo slots. But when that time comes, I should have the Western Star and have it upgraded. That truck is a beast. Just drove it off the road. Really? All this way and that trips you up? Come on. You can do this. Let's see if I have a winch point. Right there. I'll take it. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is go to the gas station. Drop the trailer off, and I'm going to recover this truck back to the garage to see if it is one that I can upgrade the tires on. I think that will be a massive help. here and park it. And then recover the truck. So let's look at customization. No, it's not one. 
levels. Oh, I made it up to level five. I thought I was already five. I guess not. I must have been at level four. But I need to be level six to get Lord Powers. Okay, just have to do some more missions. And that will do me for today. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you didn't like about it. See if it's something I can change. And I will try to get better. Uh, even if you did like the video and there's something that I can do a little bit better, let me know that too. I would appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. So until then, have a good one.